Hello, fourth and fifth grade. Welcome back to music class. Here is our second online lesson, and we are going to pick up where we left off last week. We're going to do some of the same things and take it the next step. Now, I will tell you at the beginning of the video, um, if possible, get your recorder. And if you don't have a recorder, I'm gonna give you two options that you can use instead. One option is you can find another instrument in your house. It could be even like a child's toy, something that you had uh, when you were younger or that maybe a sibling has now, a younger brother or sister. And that would be a glockenspiel or xylophone type instrument like the ones we would use in school. Now it might not look exactly like this and that's okay, but it should at least be you know something that has different bars, bigger bars for the lower notes, gradually getting smaller as it goes to the higher notes. And of course, if you remember, our, the ones we have at school, like this one, have letter names on them, C, D, E, F, G, and so on. Um, yours might not have that at home. If it's a toy, that's okay if it doesn't have letter names. Um, generally speaking, though, even on toys, the first note will sound like a C anyway, so we can usually call it C. And, and if yours sounds a little bit different, that's, that's okay. You can still practice uh, with it, but we will always be calling that first note of your instrument C. So that's one option. Maybe you have a glockenspiel or xylophone type instrument laying around your house. A second option is you can just sing along with us. Uh, singing the notes, there's nothing wrong with that. It'll be good practice for your singing voice. And like I had mentioned last week, you could get a pencil or a pen you can hold it in front of you like it's the recorder. You could practice moving your fingers just like it's the recorder and you can sing the notes. So even though you're not physically playing the recorder, you're still learning the song right along with us. Okay? So let's start with something we did last week. This is when we learned our high C and we had a chart that went along with it. And we're going to look at that chart again now and review those notes. Okay, so here is our high C chart once again. Now remember, the first thing we practiced last week was just reading the music notes, right? So you have to remember, every good boy does fine, or E, G, B, D, F, starting at the bottom. And those are for the lines. And then the spaces spell face, again, starting from the bottom space. So that's always the first step when you're going to read music, you have to think about, okay, I'm ready for the lines and the spaces, the E, G, B, D, F, and the face, F, A, C, E. So looking at the top, we have B, C, B, A, G, right? We talked about how the middle line, that third line is a B, and the space above it is a C. So the first note's a B, second note's a C, and then we come back down to B, A, G. The other thing when reading a song is we talked about you have to add the rhythm, right? So the rhythm is do, 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 day, do. And that's how quickly you play the notes. B, C, B, A, G. How long and short they are. So I will play B, C, B, A, G, and you can repeat after me. Whether you are singing, whether you are playing on recorder, whether you're playing on a glockenspiel or xylophone, it doesn't matter as long as you are thinking through the music. That is awesome. So here we go. Me first. Okay, look at the second measure. It is again B, C, B, A, G. Me first. Okay, look at the third measure. Remember, we have those third line Bs, and then the space above is Cs. So it goes B, B, C, C, B, B, C, C, right? And it's a whole bunch of eighth notes. Do, day, do, day, do, day, do, day. So we have to make sure we play it that speed, that rhythm. Me first, then you. And finally, the song ends in the last measure with B, A, G, G. And that half note is two beats long, right? So it goes do, day, do, do. I'll play it, then you play it. All right, 
the entire thing from the beginning. Look back at the top of the page. One, two, here we go. Good, and let's do one slower version too. I probably should have started with that, but that's okay. You can always rewind and, and go to the part of the video that you need to work on. So here we're going to go very slow. We're going to go do, 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 day, do. From the beginning, together, here we go. Okay, a couple of pointers for you, and then you can always go back and practice that again if you'd like to. So, don't forget, if you put your fingers in the position for B, that's first finger and thumb, but then you switch to the second finger, that's our high C. That's the new note on that chart, right? So, one thing that can help you be ready for that is to play B, C, B, C. And even just do what I'm doing and move your fingers, right? That's always a good warm up to exercise those fingers and get them moving separately. B, C. Now, another new note today. We are going to put our fingers where C is, okay? Thumb and second finger. Now, we are going to lift our thumb. First time we've ever done that for some of us. Some of us have, have learned this note in fifth grade already. But this is a C, excuse me, this is a D. So with our thumb down, we have a C, and now we lift our thumb and we have a D. So try playing that, or singing it D, or playing it on your xylophone or glockenspiel. Okay? All right, so let's practice C's and D's, we're gonna sing some first. I'll sing some C's and D's and lift my thumb when I get to D and you'll do the same. Ready? Watch and repeat. C, C, D, D, C, C, D. D, C, D, D, C. This is one of the easier um, notes to learn on recorder. It's not hard for you to move your thumb. Do make sure that your other hand is at the bottom holding the instrument, because if you try to do this with one hand, it's kind of impossible to let your thumb go. So make sure your second hand is down here so you can move your thumb up and down very easily. Okay? All right, very good. Now, let's practice a little bit of um, recorder karate and some more music reading. And this, of course, is something I had said last week that you can do online. If you do a Google search for Recorder Karate, uh, all the songs will come up and you will be able to um, read them. And, and even the YouTube videos will come up that you can play along with, with the videos and they'll, they'll show you what notes to use. And, and there, are, there are a lot of Recorder Karate um, things out there to help you learn these songs. But I'm going to use this for now. I wrote out some of merrily we roll along that's what we have in these first two staffs this bottom staff is something different we'll get there later okay now i'm going to come a little closer for this okay so on the third line one two three that's a b right every good boy b Next note, it's in a space. And again, that's the first thing you have to look at. Well, this bottom space is F, that's an A. Because remember, F, A, C, E for the spaces. So figure out, if you can, the rest of this first measure until you get to the measure line, the bar line. See if you can sing that with the letter names to yourself. Mm-hmm, it's, B, A, G, 
A B B B B A G A B B B So once you know that you can take it back to your recorder and sing it B A G A B B B while you sing the letter names, you should be moving your fingers. I always say you have to train your fingers where to go, right? And then you want to be able to keep your eyes on this while at the same time you're moving your fingers on the recorder. So you're reading and moving your fingers at the same time. B, A, G, A, B, B, B. And then of course you can play it. Let's try that. Ready? You're playing from the beginning, singing or thinking the letter names while you play. One, two, here you go. All right, how about the next measure? Are these first notes, and look, these three notes are pretty similar. They're in the same spot. Are they on a line or in a space? They're in a space, so you have to spell face. So start at the bottom, F-A-C-E. Which one is that? They're in the A space. So you actually have three A's. A, A, A. Mm-hmm. And then, what are these? They're on a line. Every good boy, third line. Every good boy does fine. That's the third line, so they're B. So we have three A's and then three B's. That's the first thing you gotta know. Then, fingers, A, 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 B, 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 right? Let's play it. Okay, let's try it while we read it. Starting right here, play and think. Ready, here we go. Let's go back to the beginning. Ready? B A G. Right? Here we go. All right. Next measure down here. Do something for me. Compare this measure with this measure. They're the same. They're the same. It's another B A G A B B B. We already know how to play that, so let's try it. Instruments, ready? Here we go. And now the ending over here. What do we have? Two notes in the space. Those are A's. A A. Then we have B A. And the final note is a half note, so it's longer. But look at what line it's on. Every good, that's a G, right? Every good, the second line is always a G. So we have A, A, B, A, G. Let's try that one with our fingers, ready? A, A, B, A, G. Let's try to play it. Let's keep our eyes on the music while we play it, starting right here. One, two, here you go. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's try the whole thing. One, two, from the beginning now. Bum, 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 bum. Next part. Bum, 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 All right. And you can certainly pause this or rewind it and work on it over and over again until you get it because maybe practice doesn't always make perfect, but practice can sure make you a whole lot better. And once you get better at music, it gets a lot more fun when you can play notes without having to think or worry about it too much. So a little bit of practice can go a long way. Okay, 
Up next, we're going to learn a new note. Um, again, it's new for some of you. It's our low E. So we've been working on higher notes. We worked on the high C and the high D, and we'll come back to those in a little bit, but we're gonna learn a low note first. And this is low E. Now what you need to do is start with your fingers on G. That's three fingers, one, two, three, in the front, plus your thumb in the back. Now with your right hand, take your first two fingers and cover up the next two holes below your left hand. Don't skip any holes. Don't make your, don't make your fingers go down here somewhere. Make sure they're on the next two holes, one, two. And then you should have that fuzzy sticker in the back and you can cover that up. Now, if you're using a different instrument, that's great. And you can actually look at the glockenspiel or xylophone and you can see where that lower E is below the G. Okay, so we start on G, we're hopping down to low E. So two things we have to really be good at for the song we're gonna practice. One is going from G to E. So let's just practice that. Just our fingers. G, E, G, E. And for right now, these two fingers are acting like one. They're exactly at the same time up and down, right? G, put them down at the same time. E, G, E. And just get good at that for a minute. You should feel the holes underneath your fingers. If not, you're missing them. Don't miss the holes. All right, I'll play some G's and E's. Repeat after me. Remember to use gentle air, okay? Good. The other thing we have to be good at for this song is coming back up from E all the way to A. So from E to A, we have to lift one, two, three fingers, because there's our A, right? We only have two left. But we have to do it all at the same time. Boom. All three of those fingers have to come up at the same time, and that is the trickiest part of the song. So go to E with your fingers, and then get all your finger, all three of those fingers ready, and lift at the same time. Try that again. Lift all three. And you can do that over and over again until you get good at it. All right, I'm gonna play some. E's, then A's. Now, we need that new note and the movement from G to E and E way back up to A. For the song, it's raining. It's raining, it's pouring. And I just have the beginning of that on my chart. So look at the bottom, bottom of my chart. Okay. This is just the beginning. This, this gets us through the hard parts, okay? Yes, it comes back again later in the song, but once we get this, we'll be we'll be in pretty good shape. So we have one G here, then we cross over this line. Don't worry about why there's a line there right now, but there is, but we're just looking at the notes. So we've got a G and then, yeah, a G. It's a longer G, but it's a G, it's a half note. Then we drop down to E, bottom line is E. So there we go, that's what happens, G, G, E, right? That's our first drop down to the low E from G. So we have to add two fingers like this, look. G, G, E, G, G, E. Okay, let's try that. I'll play it, then you play it. And of course, that's the part that goes, it's raining. So on ning, the second half of the word raining, that's when you go to the E. Okay, now, here we are down here. It's raining. Look what comes next. It's that A, second space A, F-A-C-E, that's an A. So here we are already with that toughest spot where we go from E up to A. 
E, A, E, A. And what do we do next? It's really the same thing. G, E, A. So we do that twice. G, E, A, G, E, A. So let's try that. It's G, then E, then lift three fingers. A, G, E, A. That can take some practice. G, E, A, G, E, A. I'll play it, then you play it. Okay, so again, you can pause it, you can work on that a bunch. And then I don't have the rest of the song written here on, on, on my board today, but I do have, um, but you can rather uh, look up the rest of the song online and you can read all the notes for it's raining, it's pouring. And the only new note is that low E. So it's not a ton of new notes, but it is tricky as far as which fingers you have to lift at the same time. So that's what you will be practicing for that. Okay, and one more thing for you today. Um, I'm going to give you a little activity to do at home, and this is going to be you composing your own song. Okay, and we've done things like this in past years, but in past years, instead of reading letter names, what we've mostly done is composed things on, maybe I'd give you like a little board in class with the little bingo chips and you'd make your own song and, and, and things like that, and we would use me, re, do, names for the notes, not the letter names. And the reason that we do that is because mi, re, and do help you to learn the relationship between the notes. Remember the bird story? We always talked about how big brother, little brother, big sister, little sister. Yeah, and so they go together that way, and that's of course just a story, but they really, it really does help with the relationship of the notes, meaning how close or how far apart the notes are from each other. And the other thing about the mi, re, do names of the notes is it really helps you to sing the song and get the sound of it in your head. So. All right, let's look at my chart one more time. We'll use Merrily We Roll Along. So yes, we know that it's B, A, G, A, B, B, B. But let's pretend this was your song that you were writing. And we're going to put a D, and that's a little confusing. I'll, I'll put Do, so it's not just D. I'll put a Do where the G lives on that third line. Excuse me. I should be on the second line for G. There we go. Okay, so there's Do on the second line. Well, remember when we started learning these notes way back when, we actually started with So and Me, right? And we said Big Brother So lives on a line, Little Brother Me lives on a line, but later we learned that Mama Do lives on the next line down. So if we look at our lines, now we're starting on Do, right? So we, had, we learned Do first for this song. Next line would be Little Brother Me, and the line above that would be So. Now we don't have any So's in this song, but we do have Me's. These B's are going to be like Me's, right? So another way to sing this, and by the way, there's Ray, little baby Ray in the space. We could go Me, Ray, Do, Ray, Me, Me, Me. There's three rays in the space. Ray, ray, ray. Me, me, me. Me, ray, do, ray. Me, me, me. Ray, ray, me, ray, do. Okay, so every G in the song would be do. And the, the nice thing about that is when you learn, where, or when you figure out, or when you're writing the song, it's you deciding. Where Do is going to be, if I'm going to use G as Do for the song that I'm writing, then the note that is right above Do is always going to be Re. And if Do's on a line, Re is going to be in the space, because that's the note right above. Anything, if, if your first note, Do, is on a line, the next note up is, is a space, so that's going to be Re, and then Mi would be on the line. Okay? And we're actually going to use Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So. Those are going to be the notes that we use for our composition. 
Now, as far as how do I write my own composition, Mr. Davidson? Well, if you do a Google search for music staff paper, like this is our music staff, right? Music staff paper. There are all kinds of, of uh, printable versions of this that will come up. And if you can print one out at home, that's awesome. And then you can take a pencil and you can write in your music notes. Um, if you do not have access to a printer, you can certainly draw your five lines across your paper, but sometimes it's tricky to make them straight. So you can try to use a ruler to, to make them straight. Okay. Now, when I say we're going to use do, re, mi, fa, so, what does that mean? Well, let's go back to the beginning of our, of our bird story. We said so, way back at the beginning, lived on a line. There's my S for so. Okay, and that was big brother so. And then little brother me likes to copy, so he's down here on the line under so. Right? Later, we learned there was... Big sister law, she likes to be different than the brothers, so she flutters between the lines. And then there was a little sister Ray. There's an R for Ray. She also is in a space. The sisters are in spaces in our story, and the brothers were on lines. The one difference is Mama Doe, she actually was on a line too. She's our lowest note that we have right now. D for doe over here. She's at the bottom. She's the mama bird. She's just at the bottom watching and making sure everybody's safe up there on the wires above her. Okay? So we've done all of these before. The only one that will be new to us is fa. Fa is another space note. She's middle sister. Middle sister fa. She also likes to copy big sister law. So if law is in a space, She's in a space, just like Ray. So we have three line notes, so, me, and Mama Do, and three space notes, La, Fa, Ray. But for today, we're not going to use La. We're taking Big Sister out of there. Okay? So we have Do, Ray, Me, Fa, So. I know I kind of wrote them out of order, but you can see how they go. Do, re, mi, fa, so. Okay, so what you're gonna do for your composition, I'll start mine down here. Make sure your do is gonna go on that second space. That's gonna be important, okay? And then you're going to create your own song. It doesn't have to be super long. It can be just a couple of measures. Each measure we can make four beats. Okay, or it could be as long as you want it to be. I'll just get started on one. Maybe I want my song to go like this. Do, do, mi, mi, fa, fa, mi. Something like that. Now, I kind of already decided in my head, oh, I'm going to have these first two be do, de, so I'll go ahead and connect them, which you can do on yours later. Same thing. Me, me, connected. Fa, fa, and then me, just one me by itself. So my rhythm is do, day, do, day, do, day, do. But the notes are do, do, me, me, fa, fa, me. All right. That's four heartbeats, right? Do, day is a heartbeat. Do day is a heartbeat, do day is a heartbeat, and then that do makes four. After four, you can draw a line and go on to your next measure. Now, writing it and singing it is just half of what you should be doing when you're creating a song. Because when you create a song, you should also be able to turn it into music. Now, one way is to sing it, which we are doing. So that is turning it into music. Do, do, mi, mi. That's fine. Um, but we want to turn it into music on instruments, too. So here's how we do that. Remember, we decided the second line, that's where G lives. G is going to be our Do. What note is going to be our Mi? Third line, that's B. 
So we've got G, G, B, B. So we should be playing. G, G, B, B. Sing it a little higher. G, G, B, B. Now we had Fa's over here. I decided to use Fa. What letter name is that? That's our new note, C, in that space. Remember, F, A, C. Okay. C is the one with the second finger. And then I came back down to me, which is our B. So there's a few different ways you can think through this. You can sing it. Do, do, mi, mi, fa, fa, mi. Or you can sing it with letter names. G, G, B, B, C, C, B. Both of which are good practice to be able to play it on an instrument. Now I did say we were going to go all the way up to so. And that's why I taught you the high D today. I'll just add one more note for now. High D lives on that fourth line. Remember, every good boy does, right? So that high D can be part of your song too. Now you would sing it as so. Do, re, mi, fa, so. So this would be do, do, mi, mi, fa, fa, mi, so. And I'd need more, but that's where it ends right now. Remember D. Pick up your thumb. Only your second finger. Only your second finger is playing. Make sure you have a, an empty hole. See the empty hole? It's got to be there, okay? That's your D. It's pretty high. Play around with the idea of creating your own song, being able to write it down, sing it, figure out the letter names, and play it. You don't have to use all the do, re, mi, fa, so's. You could keep it simple. You could just use do, re, and mi. That's what, for example, Hot Cross Buns and even Merrily We Roll Along, any of our earlier recorder karate songs, they just use mi, re, and do. They use b is mi, a is re, g is do. So Hot Cross Buns is mi, re, do. So play around with those ideas and see what you can come up with. By the way, I like where, I know it's not Christmas, but I have my Christmas Yoda shirt on when I play recorder, because when I go into rest position, it looks like he's playing the recorder. Yoda's good at the recorder, I bet. Okay, and one final thing for you. Um, remember we talked about apps last week. If you can get onto Rhythm Cat, my challenge for you this week is try to get through level 10. Okay, level 10. And my advice for you when you're playing Rhythm Cat, and you'll see it if you, if you can get the app, It's you'll see a lot of music notes. It's just rhythm. So it's just like do's, do days. It's longer notes too, half notes, dotted half notes, like I talked about last week. There's a little button that you press when you are playing the app. Now, make sure you press, press. You don't just tap, because I missed a lot of notes at first when I was trying to tap. So if the rhythm was do, 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 don't go like this, do, 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 with super quick taps because the app is not going to read it and you're going to be upset because you missed a lot of notes. So what you want to go, do is press do, 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 do. And then when you have longer notes like half notes, which are two beats, you have to hold your finger down for two beats. Do, do, hold it down. Okay, so that's my advice to you with that. And so the challenge is try to get through level 10 with two stars at least on each level. You can get one, two, or three stars. Of course, three stars is outstanding. See if you can get through all 10 levels with at least two stars. And that will get you ready um, for what comes next in level 11, which is our shorter notes. But level up to level 10 gets you through all of the longer notes. So you'll have to practice really counting, holding, feeling the heartbeat. And it's fun. So give it a try. Try to write a song. You know what I would love is if you can send me uh, some pictures of you playing uh, your composition or maybe a, like a short recording if you come up with a composition and have an instrument to play it or even singing your composition would be great and then your family can email that to me that would be awesome 
Thank you for participating today. Lots of stuff you can work on, but now that you're older, a lot of it is working on your own. So it's up to you to learn to read those music notes, find an instrument to play, sing the notes, write your songs, and have fun doing it, because once you get good at it, it's a lot of fun. See you next time, fourth and fifth grade. Bye-bye.